afternoon, good evening, grand rising, wherever you may be joining us from. I would just like to say thank you so much for joining me. It's Friday the 12th of April 2024 and it is 16.09. Now, I did actually start the stream for 16.16 like I always do and for some mad reason it jumped times today. So yeah, very crazy, very crazy. So hope you're all fan Dabby Josie. You're all here for a wee oracle card reading. But um, I would just like to tell you that today is Friday the 12th of April and yesterday the moon hit Gemini in its first quarter, the dark phase of the new moon. Towards the end of this phase when the delicate crescent appears, it's the perfect time to start any project. Gemini moons are for activity and lots of it. Moments that require agility and quick reflexes. So when the moon is here, we feel very restless. This can be used to our benefit get things done quickly. The downside is don't expect promises made by others to be kept. Planting and harvesting by moon phase, today's a good day for leafy vegetables, James. <laughs> Planting by moon used for destroying noxious growths, weeds and pests and for cultivation. The colour of the day is rose, which means courage, good fortune, love and relationships. So, yeah, there's a little bit of what's going on in the planetary aspects of stuff. Now, I'm assuming you can hear me. Just somebody drop me a wee one. A wee one. Just a wee one in the comments. Make sure that you can hear me now. I know you're here. Now, if you are new to the stream and you haven't been here before and you don't know what's going on, thank you, Shkesh. We have got oracle cards here. Now, I've got two decks. Number one, which is Angels and Ancestors by Phil Scott's person, Kyle Gray. And I've got the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck, which is number two. So all you need to do is drop a wee love heart and what deck you would like, and I will happily read your card out live online. So, yeah, I'm going to just keep that up just now. And I'm going to... Oh, no. Hold on. It keeps dropping in, out for me. Oh no. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Is it okay? Not so. Right, anyway, I'm going to jump back into the comments. I just want to say hi to Crazy Bunny, showing off that she has got a membership. With the membership, you are promoted to the very first people that get their cards re um, read out. So you kind of skip the queue. It only costs you from $1.99 to $4.99 a month. With the $4.99 one, you do get 24 hours preview to any pre-recorded videos. So yes, that does mean only cans as well. Um, on the note of only cans, actually, my people, let's... Um, I wonder if I got a copyright for this. I don't think so. In fact, I wonder if you can even hear this. I bet this doesn't work. And I need to hide all my other messages on WhatsApp while I play it. Right, hold on. Let's see. Oh, I can do another time. Right. I don't think this is going to work. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably. It's gone. So, sorry for just belting that in your ear, but well done, Mr. Craig. Mr. Craig Campbell, our wee Maui co-host and like, yeah, like, um, Mr. Viral. Oh no, stop saying it's freezing. Why is that? There's nobody else using the internet in my house. Oh, he's freaking me out. Not clear at all. Right, okay. She right, hold on, let me see if I've got anything else running in the background. Background No. Just word. And I don't think word is streaming. Right. Let's hope that it catches up with itself. I'm going to just quickly jump in the comments, see who's here. 
to add you to the list for the readings. If you are new, like I said before, you just choose your deck, which is number one on the left, which is Angels and Ancestors, and number two, which is on the right, and that is the Mystical Shaman Oracle. Drop a wee love heart, and I'm more than happy to read your card out online. So, yeah, sorry, while I got distracted by um, Craig's viral tweet, which I think is absolutely amazing, and I'm so proud of him. Round of applause for the only cast member. Um, yeah, Fabi. Hi, Crone. Thank you for being a member as well. You get to view the only can stuff 24 hours before it's released if it's up to recorded. Live streams are obviously live streams. Um, no, you didn't mess that up. We can't see it on the screen, but on the live chat on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like easily amused, so I thought you would like that. Uh, James, thank you for joining all the way from Canada. I am blessed to have you here. Another one all the way from Canada is Kim, and I have definitely added you to the list this week because I forgot you a couple of weeks ago. Right, Cron, I've got you number one, James. Doo -doo -doo. James has almost done his town run. Awesome. So you can join me. Oh, yeah, well, the shower, the heavens just opened here in Edinburgh. So I feel your pain, brother. I feel your pain. Oh, do you have a dog called Daniel? That's cute. What kind is it, Kim? I love dogs. <laughs> Who doesn't? Right. Oh, Crohn's had a duvet day. I was going to do that until I realised that, oh, my God, my sage is totally burning, guys. Hold on a wee second. Oh, my God, like, my alarm's going to go off. Like, hold on. There's no good sign. There's not a good sign. Cool. Jeez. Sorry, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. It's okay. I just didn't want the fire alarms going off when uh, I could just see the smoke and I'm like, oh my God, as I look to the right, I could see it was everywhere. Right. I'm hoping that the... Oh, oh it's okay now. You're okay, but the TNT bit wasn't. Right. Okay. I'll probably get that. A Cocker Spaniel cross. Ooh, what's it crossed with? What's it crossed with? I met a... Uh, Cavapoo, which is I'm assuming half cavalier and half poodle, and it's called Bobo, and she loves me. My cats hate it, like my cats hate it, and my bunny never came out of the room for two days when he vis when she visited. But you know, anyway, right? Let's um, let's get. You're not sure? That's cute. I like that. I like that. They're very intelligent. They've got really high energy cocker spaniels, haven't they? Are they not hunting dogs? Well, like bread for hunting, what's in yours is. Right. Hope everybody's got your wee requests and my people. So yeah, the membership you get 24 hour access to any pre-recorded videos that Craig and I do or any that I do at all. Um so 24 hours before anybody else. You get loads of wee emojis, you get a badge, you also get uh I can't remember. <laughs> be working on my channel all day like updating the memberships and i can't even remember i think i've been sitting at my computer for way too long today right anyways um oh you still have to go to work tomorrow oh teresa teresa right where's beasley because i met her the other day i got to meet another one of my online friends in real life obviously it wasn't under the best circumstances because it was at, well it wasn't at the funeral um, but it was because of the funeral in Salford but yeah Emma Beasley came all the way from Liverpool to come and say hi and we spent a couple hours together it was lovely well a few hours it was Barry and then her train got cancelled and she had to get a coach all the way home and I felt terrible she did just stay actually Emma anyway right let's get back into I'm going to read out who I've got on my list I've got Catherine Hutton I've got Heal in the Silence I've got Crazy Bunny I've got Kim Thieker I have got Crone I have got Kim Thieker again because oh I know it now it's okay <laughs> uh, I'm forgotten that he's press number one and I thought you were asking for deck one right so I've got Kath Heal in the Silence Crazy Bunny Kim and Crone if there is anybody else that is watching would like the card just drop my wee love heart Put number one on the left and number two on the right. So, like I said before, Cronin goes first because she is a member of the channel. And there is a way that I can share links in that, but I'm so disorganised today that I've not got to that. But the next stream, I will be on it like a car bonnet. Right. 
my little crony box with like deck one, which is Angels and Ancestors. And yeah, that was why I was running late because I had to sage the cards. <laughs> and then I just thought I could leave a little bit of sage burning. And yeah, that could have been a catastrophe. Because my fire alarm is super loud. I've got two in the smallest house. Anyway, Chrome, I'm going to connect with your energy, and you, you do know already, but I will explain for other people. It can't be a yes or no question. It's got to be quite an open-ended question. Not not all cards say yes or no. Some cards do. Um, but it's got to be like, what will be the outcome of the situation? What will be... What do I need to know about a certain situation? What would the universe like me to know? Um, or in order to get to this situation, what do I need to learn? You know, so it can't be like a yes or no. Zoe, do you have Teresa on the list? No, I don't. I don't actually, Teresa. What number did you want, babe? Well, um, Dick. I don't know Teresa on the list. Oh, well done. She okay, you're promoted. That's good that you love your job. That makes such a difference. Such a difference. I would rather earn a tenner an hour and love my job than earn like a hundred quid an hour and absolutely despise it. Dropped my first card and I've not even done a reading yet. It's all good. It's all good. So yes, deck two for trees. All right, perfect. Star you added. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Right, Crony Bops. Let's get into your reading. And the card that I dropped was not upright, so that's why you weren't getting it thrown. Don't worry. What does Crone need to know? I made a Crone emoji today, by the way, but the first one was really good. But it didn't look witchy enough. It just looked like an old woman, so I was like, nah. And then the ones I made after it, it's because I was using that stupid AI. Right. Ooh, heart guardian. you got a guardian. Guardian. Da, 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 it's a guardian. I need to get some um, sound effects. The camera is that way, Zuzu. Oh, I've not done this right. Hold on. You'll see what I mean. Oh, I'm going too high now. Oh, I did do it right. It's just that stupid wee thing. Right. There we go. Well, you can see your card. Let's go back. Oh, well, if I didn't retrograde till the 25th, that explains everything. My cancelled trains, the Uber driver dropping us off at the wrong place. Well, two miles before our destination, A to these all. Um, yeah, that explains a lot on why my, float, my stream isn't flowing. But it's all good. Yeah, lovely card, um, Crone. Absolutely brilliant card. So, I've got a guardian, which is a guardian angel, and it's a heart guardian. So, like, before I'll tell you about the card, and then I'll give you your extended message. Welcome with open arms, opportunities to give and receive love. The heart guardian is an angelic energy that can help you call for protection and guidance. Oh, sorry, and guidance with all issues surrounding the heart. This is essentially the angel who helps you with all relationships, whether they be with yourself, family, or even a romantic connection. She can enable you to move beyond any limiting fears about trust, discern whom to trust and understand how you can move forward in a balanced relationship with that person. In this card, she is adorned with a sacred heart and draped in a red cloak to show her capacity to let love lead the way. So this is your message. You are love, lovable and loving. The energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time. Angels are swirling around you, encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessings that you have to offer. They want you to know that you're a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love. If you're finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit when it's due. You are encouraged to welcome support from others, learn to receive, don't try and do everything on your own, and if you're working on a relationship or are in a new relationship, this card can usher in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. Ooh, love is in the air, and it actually says that. Du, 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 du. And as it says, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, it can be just general relationships, just general love about yourself, self-love. So yeah, that was a nice card. I hope that uh, resonates with you. Retrograde, yes. Had a nightmare, but an angel came and gave us a lift. Yeah, an angel 
Absolutely. I was going to say disguised as a stripper, but we didn't know he was a stripper until afterwards. <laughs> um, and that was brilliant. I thought a hey, sister was te- was taking the Mickey when she's like, you know, he's a, you know, he's a stripper loaf, and I'm like, what? So yeah, I had to Google him and I found him. What a creep! And then I messaged him because I'm one of the people. Shakesh, absolutely. Oh, where did that go? Absolutely struggling with my phone. It's so much smaller than my last one. Yeah, glasses. Don't even talk to me about glasses. They don't even fit me, but I'm I'm getting there. Hey, James A, what deck would you like? My sweetness. Just choose your wee one or two. One or two. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Oh, I did it. Oh, oh, I like that one. Yeah, look. So I can go one or two now. Shut up, sorry. Right, okay. So, a. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. The angel that took us that her name was Kath. In fact, Kath, there you go. The woman that picked us up, me and Teresa, are seeing us. We were absolutely soaking, walking in the rain to the crematorium, and this beautiful woman called Kath said, oh, would you like a wee lift? And we're like, yay! And I was like, I even said in the car, and Teresa will confirm this, that I was like, isn't it typical that it's a Kath that's saving us because all Kaths are amazing? Because obviously Kaths aren't amazing because my Reiki master's called Kath too, and Kath's Kath. So here we go. I like strippers. I support single mo- I'm going to go away because some people in relationships are strippers too, James. So married women are strippers. Right, anyway, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Before I go and barter James over in Canada for being a... Uh... <laughs> Didn't you laugh, Shakesh? You're no meant to. Right, anyway. <laughs> I've been totally thrown. Right, hold on. I did say that. I did. I'm not lying. I'm just lying, love. Oh, why do I keep my... This is glitching. Retrograde is of an effect. Right. Next on the list is Crazy Bunny, but she did ask to be at the end because she watches on replay. Replay. When the crowd says bo. So it is... Yeah, we've done crowd. So, good afternoon. It is Catherine Hutton next on the show. <laughs> You should jump on the show. In fact, Kath, I do want you on my show. I've got lots of people lined up coming on my show, guys. It's, um, oh, hold on. Yeah, that too. I picked up that too as well. So, Kath, you know already, it can't be a yes or no question. It's got to be quite an open-ended, open-ended question. Like, what does the universe want me to know about A, B or C? What do I need to know about a certain situation? What will the outcome be about a certain situation? Or what do I need to know? You know, yeah. You know the drill by now, guys. So... Can I fall on the floor, please? Ah, I caught it. Ah, <laughs> right. Connecting with Kath's energy. What does Kath need to know? Catherine need to know. Let's see what she is. Honestly, since I've been carrying that heavy <laughs> bag. Right, the sun. And this is one of those cards that says yes in the other deck. So we have the sun, which is a very nice positive card. I think that's that. The stage. Oh, that's off here. Hold on. Who dot who? I like that. Right, okay. So you can see that, can't you, sun? Yes. We've got the sun. <laughs> so Catherine Hutton, let's see what this means for you. And remember, only take what resonates, guys. And your card did come up out, out upright, so it's an invitation. So I'll tell you about the card and I'll give you your extended message. The sun is acknowledged by many cultures as the foremost masculine force. In other traditions, it is seen as the feminine and her full power. Either way, it is the most brilliant light for all beings and allows life to sprout from the dark feminine earth. It can be gentle and warming, close to sunrise or sunset, fall or winter, or it can be destructive, as in its zenith during a scorching summer. So this is your message. (laughs) Have you been hibernating? Have you been been introspective? It is time to come out of your cave and see where the life-giving light of her star. The sun rekindles your passion and your creative energy. Life is calling you to shine your light and to add your lightness and humour to the seriousness around you. Get out and play. And that means also known as get up to Edinburgh. (laughs) So yes, I hope that resonates with you, Catherine. So that is Grant. I'm just, um, no, I've only done one. 
Hey, she cares of not much use. Don't you worry. Yeah, she do have all sorts going on in Amsterdam. It's a bit. I'm a during the day gal in Amsterdam. I just walk around and taste the bud, and then I go to my hotel and fall asleep. Simples. Don't do the sex thing, but right, you're no, she cares. You're not, but I'm just. Yep, I've definitely got you on. In fact, you're next. She cares. You are next. Deck two also. So open ended question. I will refresh the energy from the last reading and like you know yourself it's not a yes or no question my hands are getting too old for this since I carried that really heavy pack to Manchester this hand is like not happy at all in the slightest and it's saying give me my ball back I'm going home but no it's Friday it's stream time people are here for cards so heal thank you Apologies about that heal in the silence. And I've got you coming on the shoe very shortly. I don't think we've actually decided on a date yet, have we? No, I think it was the week start um next week, was it? Yeah, it was, I think. Anyway, well, sorry, I've got James coming back on as well. Ooh, the serpent. Transformation, baby. And that came out upright. There we go. That came out upright, so it's more an invitation than a medicine. A medicine is more like something that you need to work more on. An invitation is to invite something. It's not, yeah, it was the week after next. Right, the week after next, right, good. Yeah, you're the same as me, Kath. We're a bit kind of hermit mode. So perfect um, time of year, perfect moon phase to start new projects, to start going out and about. And first of all, I will give Shikesh his wee reader. The serpent is the life force of Mother Earth. The coiled serpent of the Kundalini brings passion, healing and renewal. She offers us the fruit of the tree of knowledge in the Garden of Eden and reminds us to shed, past, shed the past the way that she sheds her tired old skin. Serpent comes to offer you the forbidden fruit that will set your passion and your creativity free. So this is your message because it came out upright. It's an invitation. The serpent power of the kundalini is stirring within your chakras, gently asking you to embrace its mystery. Shed the old skin that you've been so attached to and welcome the vulnerable pink underbelly that will bring you a fresh experience of your life. Your passion and sexuality are awakening, and this can be scary. Trust the wisdom of serpent to transform your sensual energies into beautiful, original manifestations. <laughs> I hope that resonates with you, Shakir. Or should I say heal in silence? And hold on. I was hoping if Craig was around, calling Craig, Craig calling Craig, that he could maybe jump on and explain what's going to happen on our next Only Cans Part 5, which is in May. Yes, you heard it first. Next month, Part 5. Well, you've only heard it first because I've said it every week. But yeah, so basically, part five, May, we're going to be reporting live from Prior to Lose. Craig's going to do the walkabout, you know, give us more of, like he done last year, he can kind of gauge it better when he's there. He's going to be at that time of night. And, you know, so yeah, it'll be a lot better. You enjoy the being, oh, that's good. <laughs> Kundaliani is such a funny word, it is. I have loads of green goodness here. I think it's partly the organised chaos of Central Station area on the Mount of Museums. Well, I've missed something. Where do you feel home? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amsterdam, I get you. See, I'm like totally paying attention. So, who is next on my list, peoples? It is Kim. Another Canadian take two. No bother, my sweet. So, Kim, you do know before because you have had cards, but for anybody that doesn't know, it can't be a yes or no question. It's got to be an open ended question, guidance towards or universe. You can just do general guidance. If you can't actually think of something, you could just be like, What does the universe want me to know today? Or, What do I need to know to have a successful day, an abundant day? doesn't have to be a pure theatrical dramatic five paragraphs 
So, yes, Kim, you are next, my dear. I have not left you off the list. There you go. Training again. The Hunter. The Hunter. Look at that artwork. Isn't that amazing? There we go. The heart seems to be quiet. I don't know. It's weird. It's like her stillness in the air. Do you know what is that see? Just really worked and it's got rid of everything, so it's total stillness. Okay, so we have got Hunter for you. I will tell you about the card because it came out upright. It's an invitation. So, before the dawn of agriculture, we hunted in the forest to feed our kin. The hunter never takes more than what the village needs to survive, often taking only one creature, the good kill. He is a master tracker who knows which path to follow to find success. So this is your message, Kim. Rely on your own skills to, to traverse the thick forest that you're in to reach your destination. You need to follow the tracks left by spirit to claim your bounty, which is already being prepared and is being offered to you. Do not follow the maps drawn by others as they will not lead you to your true. Oh, lead you true, sorry. Instead, become the map maker. Find your internal compass, a compass and use all your senses, including your common sense. Is that light? It keeps flicking on the page. So I hope that resonates with you, Kim Madiri. You've waited patiently enough for that. And I have got my Teresa. You are next, my dear. Oh, I do hope you've written underneath your painting. I mean, that you've got to do that, or is it just under... Um, Paper that you do that. I leave you messages for whoever strips the wall. We've never done that. I'm sure everybody's done that. Or came across it. I've certainly came across it. Right, Teresa Madeira. That really resonates. Awesome. I like it. I like it. I've never had anybody be like, what was that all about? I don't understand that. Or I didn't get that. Or what? So, yeah. And I feel that the more readings that we're doing and the more that we're all connecting the better that the resonation is as the channel grows you have to wait much longer for your card if you're not in the house before the stream begins here's my right for being two minutes late well if you if you're a member you get put priority you're first always first in the queue for 1.99 4.99 a month but Teresa, you're already a member on my coffee which is 35 pound a month so i wouldn't ask you to do that so and that's where you take them on a spiritual journey through all the chakras written oh that would be cool <laughs> how cool would that be eh? just like totally leave wisdom on the walls for them to follow i like that right t-birds it is you number two now there we go oh my hand i think i might need one of these special brown don't want to see it it's friday for friday for Heidi, for Heidi, when you go away to these art and then you come back with more stuff than you went away with, and you're like, "Oh, chocolate!" <laughs> I like it. Right, let's see what Teresa needs to know from Oracle. I took my cards down, took all my crystals down, everything to do Reiki. And did we do Reiki, Teresa? So I've got a sore hand because I can't eat all that stuff. I just never even got it done. <laughs> stand still <laughs> 52 if that means anything to you and stand still there we go so stand still here we go and it came out upright so it was an invitation not like anybody's had medicine today when stand still appears it is a symbol of pausing the act of observation and breathing space. It represents the benefits of temporary non-action as well as what happens when one is stuck. So this is your message, Teresa. When things seem to stall or stagnate or when you feel stuck, this symbol appears as a reminder that constant action isn't going to get you anywhere that you want to go. Perhaps it's time to gather more information or just wait until the universe makes the next move. No matter what, this moment is a beautiful gift orchestrated in your favour. Enjoy it. Let the universe bring all the parts together for the highest good. Go and play, recharge, and take the focus off whatever has stalled. Life will get busy again for you sooner than you think. Ew, tea dog. So I think that kind of resonates. But, um, it's your journey, so I don't know. 
yeah, I know. I'm just going to start calling you T-Bird all the time now because, yeah, it's funny because it makes me think of him too. I did meditation and CBD bath. I feel so good. Yes, I thought that was quite appropriate, to be fair. I thought that was quite resonating because obviously we were down away and we've been chatting. So, yeah, I like it. And I'm glad that you liked your bath bomb. I did feel that you needed a little bit of grounding. And I think you've done it. So that's awesome. So if there's anybody who's just popped over and thinks, oh, I've missed it, you've not, you can still drop your love heart. Number one or number two, number one is Angels and Ancestors. Number two is Mystical Shaman Oracle. And all you need to do is drop a wee love heart. And, oh, yeah, I've got to do Crazy Bunny. Right, Crazy Bunny, what did you want? Number two, showing off with their only cans badge. Right, my dear. Okay. Crazy bunny, it's got to be an open-ended question. Open -ended question. It cannot be. Oh, yeah, James as well. Oh. Right, I'll do you after crazy bunny. Hold on. That wasn't like a, oh, no. That was like, a, I can't believe I forgot. It's just because I didn't put you on my... I'm going to do deck one for you, Jamesy, after I have done crazy bunny's little one. So I'm just going to refresh the energy. It's got to be an open-ended question. Can't be a yes or no. <laughs> do you know what it is, James? I hate when people are, are like, you go to the shops and you're like, do you want something? Like, yeah, get me a sweetie. And you're like, what do you want? They're like, you pick. No, just tell me what you want. Like, <laughs> I'm not picking. Because <laughs> you might not like it. Right, crazy bunny, crazy bunny. The rattle was upside down. Well, there's me saying that nobody got medicine. Crazy Bunny jumps in. Boom! Medicine. It's a medicine woman. Right. Oh. Remove. Right, the rattle, and it is upside down. That's so weird, because all day today, I've been thinking, I really need to get a rattle. Because I've got my drum, Um. And I do, it's just for energy. You won't really understand unless you're like an energy healer. But I really want the rattle just to like disperse the energy a little bit more. Um, and I was thinking about that all morning. And then boom, rattle. The rattle is the spirit caller carrying the shaman's prayer to the four directions. The body of the rattle is like the earth spinning on its axis. With the aid of the rattle, the medicine woman instills a desired destiny in her future, closing with the prayer. Great spirit, may your will be done. The rattle guides us to pray for all of the earth, not just for our personal needs. When we offer our prayers for the highest good of all, everything we need is provided for us. So this is your message. You want to try and catch God on the whisper, not on the shout. What have you been trying to craft? Your own desires and expectations is already there, standing before you. Do not spin the world to your own benefit. You're being offered the Creator's tools, which must be put to use to serve a divine purpose. Ooh, let's hope that resonates. Right, you are going to be next, Jamesy. And I'm going to choose deck one for James, Angels and Ancestors. <laughs> so, James, you know, like every other week, can't be a yes or no question. It's got to be an open-ended question. Does the universe want me to know about? What will be the outcome if I do this? What will be the outcome of a situation if I change this? Um, in order to welcome this into my life, what do I need to know? You know, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Just going to connect to James's energy. Hang on. Give me a second. Yeah, don't see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have a shower after. Yeah, I'm like that. I have, no, I have to shower after the bath to get all like the bath water off me <laughs> not the bath much yeah because our hotel was meant to have a bath in it so i got like a bath bomb and everything and got to the hotel and it wasn't even a bath totes Rajan. but it's fine because today's got the bath bomb so it's even better right james Ooh, you got crone wise one grow within your current situation <laughs> Right, you stay there. You go there. Where's my book? 
اوكي اسمع اوه سوري We go take it going funny because it's bad to greed. Bacteria soup. Oh, he's like giving me the fear. Stop it. Then he used to talk about hot tubs, women. You're banned for hot tubs. <laughs> I'm only joking. A jacuzzi with whipped cream. Right, okay, guys. Well, see, it's Friday. They're all getting a bit freaky. I'm just going to crack on with them. Um, James's reading, which is wise one, which is also known as Crone. Because remember, Crone got that card and I was pure cheesing. Yes, that was me. Knuckle down, be reliable and committed. Be open to wisdom and insights from your elders. The wise one represents the wisest aspect of the goddess, the crone. In paganism and modern Wicca, the crone is the fiercest, most psychic and the most aware, aware aspect of the goddess because she's been through many of life's challenges and overcome many setbacks. On this card, the raven in her hand represents the capacity to overcome the darker times and to be reborn and again and again. So she helps you to tap into wisdom to overcome whatever life throws at you. Wisdom being the information that's stored in your soul, rather than from the knowledge that's acqu acqu acquired in this lifetime. And to learn from experiences of your elders. So this is your message, James. Yeah, okay then. Yeah, okay then. That's why you just have to jump in and talk about a five million uh, tweet when nobody else mentioned it. But it's okay. Congratulations, Craig. You wee glory hunter. Now only joking. Um, let me finish this reading for James, please. The wisdom of the wise one is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking. Commitment and reliability. When this card appears, you're being guided to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation. <laughs> be committed to your tasks and your projects. It can be very easy to get bored or overwhelmed, but persevere. You're being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability. And that's not who you were born to be. So keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. Ooh, I hope that resonates with you, James, because I know that you're most certainly working hard. Right, so we've got Viral Craig in the house. I did actually show Sonia's wee clip earlier, but it went all glitchy and, like, it nah, made all, everything went a bit funny. So, yeah. So, Craig, how does it feel to be famous? Yeah, amazing. Five million, Craig. Yeah, we're going to have to get merch. I got to five million by Craig on the back. But yeah, well done, mate. Like, I'm I'm super, super, super proud of you. Hold on a wee second. I'm not going to play the video again. Don't worry, guys. But I am. Hold on. Where is it? I asked you to send me a screenshot of the stats today, didn't I? And why is it not bloody there? Oh. Why is your 5 million bit not Oh, it's all right. Yeah, anyway. Well done, Craigie boy. Well done, Craig. That was um, absolutely fantastic. And James, I just want to say that the shorts that I created yesterday, um, the ones that feature you are flying into uh, like hundreds of views, which is absolutely amazing. I did think it would be the McCann ones, but it just shows me that it's not. It's actually the spiritual ones, the healing ones, the guide ones. So, yeah, well done for Jamesy boy too. Well done, Craig. Well done, James. You are amazing. Just remember who uh, gave you your platform, Ken. <laughs> I'm only teasing. But when you're in that five-star hotel, just like, remember we me and just send me some cash and I'll be happy. You're sitting on a train right now, scared somebody will recognise me. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, you'll be being serious, dude. That's so funny. So funny. Right. Yeah, you did get a shout-out as well, didn't you? For a tweet that got 23 views. <laughs> Well done, doll. Well done. See, it doesn't matter like how many views you got. It's just like what it means. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, ah, uh, no, right. <laughs> You're laughing so much. You may we awesome. I love it. That's what we like to do on a Friday. Just lift those vibrations. Lift the vibrations, baby. Just didn't he sing into the microphone again, so. Right, anyway, we're at 40 minutes. If there's anybody else... Craig, do you want your card read? 
or I'll just hang up. Now, do you want your card read? If you do, it's deck one or deck two. You know the drill, you know the drill. Craig's on five mil, Craig's on five mil. Woo-hoo. Yeah, we're going to have to get merch saying, I know Craig, or I knew Craig before he went viral. That's what I'm going to get. <laughs> Too funny. Here, you got you get you made money off that, didn't you? Do you you get paid now off Twitter? It's so funny. It was like, am I going to get suicide? <laughs> no, my watch, mate. No, my fucking watch. Anyway, take two. Yes. Oh, that that's fine, Teresa. You just jog on and away and watch Johnny Vedmore. Nah, I like Johnny Vedmore. He's actually all right. Right. Anyway. People be asking, what did you get out to Friday evening? He's like, I pissed my pants laughing at YouTube. Right. <laughs> oh, Danny. Oh, too funny. Me and Emma Beasley, we caught the giggles. I can't believe she's not here, the wee Joby. I bet she fell asleep eating bloody somebody's brownies. Yeah, but me and Emma, um, we tried to go to the park for a, for a ciggy. And then when we left the apartment the first time, I was like, have you got your ciggy? She's like, no. I was like, no, I <laughs> So we had to go all the way back up to the apartment. And then we got our ciggy. And then we went back down. She's like, have you got a lighter? And I was like, no. So I had to go all the way back up to the apartment. The second floor. And honestly, we could even get back out the third. I was like, third time lucky. Um, so yeah, that was uh, it. was good. It was good. It was good. It's funny. Oh, you are still talking about bacteria and that. I'm going to be sick. Right, Craig, can't be a yes or no question. You know, mucker, it's got to be something that's like general guidance or what do you need to know about a certain situation? What will be the outcome of a certain situation? Um, you are still here in it. It's a pure English thing. I do not understand why people say it in it. It doesn't even make sense in my head. Because to me, that's isn't it. I'm still here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, good card. Very good card, Craig. The corn. Abundance, baby, abundance. Very nice card. Right. If she can find her book, like, how can my book have actually... Oh, ah, it's because I bet a wee bit mad about the sage earlier. Ha <laughs> ha! Do not. Right, corn. And it came out upright, which is an invitation. I can't spell again. There we go. Corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangent. Oh my God, we were talking about a lot of the day. Right, hold on. Corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangible abundance. The symbol represents material prosperity in the world, a form that provides stability and sustenance to many. There is more than enough. So this is your message. You planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. Even in moments when you were losing faith, you continued. Now the spirit of the corn comes to honour this and show you a bountiful harvest. This is the time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust. Whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity, you're so blessed when this symbol appears. Don't forget to share your good fortune. Five million tweets abundance type thing or um, yeah. Brilliant, Craig. Brilliant. One million from Bathwater, who? No, no. Was there not a woman that was selling her pumps? I'm not going to... Aye, she was selling her farts. And then did she not get really ill because she had that much demand that she had to keep farting, so she had to keep eating stuff that wasn't good for her or something? Or did I have a crazy dream? <laughs> sure, like, one of you will tell me if that's true because she's talking about Bathwater, so... Why do Scottish say aye? Because that means yes. And Yorkshire say bar in it is Cockney. Bar. Who's bar? Bar. <laughs> Farting in jars. Aye. See? Boo. I'm feeling quite silly today as well. It's because it's for Friday. Um, my mum once opened a cracker at Christmas table, paused a moment and said, what's a 69? Oh my God. What was the funniest Christmas dinner ever? <laughs> yeah, jar farts. Oh my God. God, like, I get why somebody, a man, would maybe want to buy a wi woman's pants or something that she's worn, but a fart. Oh, then I'm actually going to get the book. No, I'm actually going to get the book. Breathe, Zoe. Breathe. Does anybody else want to read that? <laughs> Honestly, I can't cope with it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, farting in jars, mate. What is going on with the world? Imagine you had verbal dyslexia. 
And at the movies, you ordered a large bucket of cop porn. <laughs> Daddy, it was like, um, oh no, I don't even want to say this online, but wait, well, you can do it. When Rihanna brought out that song that was about whips and chains, put that backwards. Chips and Wains. <laughs> so wrong. But it's funny. Uh, ba, oh, Ba Like a Sheep is a Yorkshire saying. Or, what? Ba Like a Sheep is a Yorkshire saying. Can say it to anyhow when you're lost for words or someone says something more than stupid. So you actually say Ba Like a Sheep or do you just actually Ba Like a Sheep? Like, meh. Tell me. Tell me. I need to know these things. Why would you buy worn pants? Craig. Come on, you should be in there, pal. Farts caught in the pussy, but right. James has had too much candy today, or not enough candy, or like, uh, right, yes, Teresa. See, she knows exactly. I've had that request, and it ain't happening. And no, I'm not getting an OnlyFans either. So you can stop asking me. Bah. Oh, just the bar. So, like, meh. I, I do that when I'm at an airport and everybody's like going on the lines like sheep. I'm like, meh. So, I'm really good at sheep, clearly. Right. I think that is a uh, Craig is so. Yes, isn't he? Oh, let's corrupt him, Teresa. No. You're so funny, Craig. Why would you buy worn pants? God. So, no, in fact, I'm not even going to say it. Craig can't get STDs because he went visual <laughs> worries. I love that. <laughs> oh my. Too funny. Too funny. So, how come you got 5 million um, viewers and I only gained about 3 subscribers to the channel? I know it wasn't about only cans, it was about the cans thing. So, no thanks. So, he's a married no go. Oh, I know. Okay. No, all the good ones are married or gay, though. Married or gay. Right, anyway, I'm going to skedaddle and make the rabbles. I was asking the group earlier on if you'd like me to do. I'm going to stick to the Friday. I'm going to stick to this time. But like we're having just now, just a wee bit banter, I was going to pull up more topics like I did last week with the tree hugging and the fake healers. Um, I just think to lift your vibrations, it's a good wee giggle. And we're four minutes before everybody jogs on. That means Teresa to Johnny Vidmo. Has he not got a proper, like, accent? He's got a strong accent, hasn't he? Is he like proper like that, you know? Like that, you know? Right, anyway, only cans have got loads of followers. I on your Twitter. On your Twitter, mate. No on the channel. Oh, why does every everyone click? Isn't he showing? That should be your tagline, Greg. Mate, worn pants is just me. <laughs> oh, this all the good single men are in Renfrew. Why? In Canada, that is, not Scotland. <laughs> Too many pairs in this world. There sure is. There sure is. So true. Yes, I love accents. Proper like, you know. Proper like. Right, on that vibe, I'm clearly getting a bit delirious. It is time to go and eat some magical mama tea brownies. And to do that. So, love you and leave you. I hope you've all had a fantastic time. Please, before you go, go and just give that a wee thumbs up. I would really like that. The wee emoji thing just hit like love hearts and parties and things like that because that supposedly helps the algorithm. Um, I have produced quite a lot of shorts yesterday. If you could go over and give them a wee thumbs up and share them with some people if you could do that for me. I would love you guys. Anyway, go and love you and leave you. Go and check out the membership page on my YouTube channel. And I hope to see, well, I will see you on Fridays. If I don't see you on Friday, I'll see you before. I will be launching a couple of live thumbnails for you all so that you know what's coming up. As we've got Shikesh, we've got James, I've got Daryl, I've got Kath coming, and I've got Sasha eventually. So, yeah, I've got a few people coming. It's been an amazing weekend. Don't miss me too much. And just remember, right, you are all. Amazing. Love you all. Oh.